Good morning and welcome once again to the Morning Meditation with God radio ministry brought to you each morning at this same time by the generous and loving members and friends of the Midwest Church of Christ. The Midwest Church of Christ is located at 2115 Garland Avenue here in Louisville, Kentucky. We'd like to extend to you and to your entire family a warm and loving invitation to come and be with us in any and all of the services of the Midwest Church of Christ. Again, located at 2115 Garland Avenue here in Louisville, Kentucky. Our order of services include each uh, Sunday morning at 8.30 uh, a.m. is our first worship of the day. Then at 9.30, we have our Sunday Bible school, and at 10.30, we have our second worship of the day. On Wednesdays, we have our midweek Bible study, prayer and devotional services. Our first session is at 10 a.m. in the morning, and our evening session is at 6.50. That's 10 minutes before seven. If you would like to study the Bible <clears throat> in the comforts of your own home, we have two ways that you can do that. One is the Bible correspondence course that you can take by mail. The second is the personal home study where someone will sit down with you, study the word of God right in the comforts of your own home. Either way, you give us a call at 774-3986, and we'll register you today. And other announcements, the 2020 National Jail and Prison Workshop Planning Meeting is scheduled for Tuesday, December the 31st at uh, 4 p.m. Midwest is hosting this, and we hope that you will join with us. Uh, we need those who can help uh, in several areas of mailings and, and uh, social media uh, campaign, and we hope that you will come out this Tuesday uh, at 4 p.m. right before our um, uh, New Year's Eve uh, 
program and celebration. The uh, New Year's Eve program, uh, the Mildred Purvis New Year's uh, program uh, will be Tuesday, the 31st from 6 to 10. Those interested in participating with a song, a poem, a reading, please sign up. Praise be unto God. Also, the annual Labors in the Vineyard Fellowship and Unity Day is set for Sunday, January the 12th, 2020. Uh, there will be only one worship service at 10.30 a.m. Sunday school is at 9.30, uh, and uh, we want to combine worship where we all can come together fellowship with one another, starting the year out uh, with the Lord and in fellowship with the brothers and sisters in Christ Jesus. Praise be unto God. We, <clears throat> the Village Learning Center is taking applications for the uh, 2019 the 2020 after school ministry yeah, was taking applications for our winter session. And we want to encourage you, get your children preschool to the eighth grade um, uh, in fellowship with uh, uh, other children uh, in the community and within our congregation. Uh, we, there are opportunities for volunteers uh and to uh, of dedicated christians desiring to make a difference in the life of children today the after school program opens at three to seven monday through thursday and we are asking you to uh uh support the children uh by give giving one day uh a week uh and uh getting to know the children and uh, where they are in our generation. So let's come out and help them in their reading, their math. Uh, uh, we, we know that God will bless you uh, and he will bless you richly, you keeping up and working with our children today. The Kids Cafe, it is a um, help. It provides a healthy meal along with physical and educational activities. Uh, volunteers are needed. If the Kids Cafe is open on Thursdays at 5 p.m. We hope that you will get to know the young people coming to our a Amen to our assistance. The Food and Clothing Ministry, amen, will be uh, open in January, um, the second and fourth uh, Thursdays at 3 p.m. So let's keep them in our prayers. Also, we want to remember our sick and shut in. We want to remember, Sister. Um, our sick sister Beverly Bledsoe, sister Terry Clay, and oh, it was good to have her back in the presence of the Lord's uh, people on yesterday. And uh, may uh, he continue to bless her and keep her. Uh, for sister Savannah Johnson, and it was good to see sister Anna, Anna Sharp uh, back with us uh, on yesterday. And uh, Sister uh, Don Marie Sizemore. Pray for the continued uh, recovery for Brother Johnny Miles uh, uh, and Brother Angelo Pendergrass. We also want to remember our shut in Sister Mamie Cartwright, Sister Louise Covington, Sister Sarah Cowan, Sister Mary Hunter, Sister Pearl Smith, uh, Sister Vivian Wakefield, and Sister Mary. Would I uh, also remember Brother James Fraser and keep Sister Bertha Fraser, 
Sister Dorothy Miles and all of the families. Um, it was taking care of their husbands and fathers. We're just thankful to God uh, for that. Also, we want to, um, we'd like to uh, remember those who are going through dialysis and radiation, chemotherapy, and other special treatments. I want to pray for our dear friend, Sister Angela Walls Gill, Sister Sheila Heiner, Sister Sandy Hammond Schuler, uh, Sister uh, um, uh, Rita Kamishi. I also pray for Sister Beverly Bledsoe, Sister Sarah. I also pray for Sister uh, Tanya Johnson and Sister Anya Lawson. Keep these in your prayers. Pray also for Brothers Jasper Crenshaw, Brother Richard Rose, Brother Gary King, um, uh, Brother uh, Marvin Stevenson Jr. Keep these in your prayers and ask God to be with them and strengthen them is our continued prayer. Want to say, give a birthday shout out to, to Brother Tony Burton. Amen. Uh, whose birthday will be tomorrow on uh, the 31st. We appreciate uh, 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 Brother Burton and all of those uh, who are faithful members of, of Midwest and your uh, uh, prayers. Well, we want to pray for our sick, our shut-ins, families, children, grandchildren, our workplaces, our co-workers, our Christian walk, our financial uh, issues, uh, traveling grace, and all for all those, uh, uh, amen, grieving over the death of loved ones. We want to ask God to, to be with you and be with every one of us. In the name of Christ, would you bow with me? Dear God and Father in heaven, as we come before you today, we bow our heads and we humble our hearts in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, what a friend we have in Jesus. There's no one else we can depend on like we can depend on Jesus. We pray, dear God, that you would strengthen us with your hand, your mighty hand. Lift us up uh, when, we are torn, when we've been down. Give us peace in the turbulence of this, of this world. Give us, amen, your direction, for we know not the right way to go except you show us. Give us a light, O oh God, that we can find our way as we travel through the darkness of this world. Lord, as we are coming close to the close of uh, a year and looking forward to a new year, we pray, we pray, dear God, that you will, you will bless us you will continue to shower your great love on us. We bring our sick, our shut-ins, and those going through special treatments. We bring them before you. And, oh, Lord, our God, may you, may you bless us in all that we do. Be with those who are up this morning to hear word from, your, from the Lord and to study out of your word. I thank you today, O oh God, in the name of Jesus. Amen. Praise be unto God. Now, let's open up our Bibles to the book of Psalms, the first division. The book of Psalms, the first division. The Bible, the word of God says, Blessed is the man that walketh not in the counsel of 
the ungodly, nor standeth in the seat of in the way of sinners, are sitteth in the seat of the scornful. But his delight is in the law of the Lord, and it's in his law doth he meditate day and night. And he shall be like a tree planted by the rivers of water that bringeth forth his fruit in his season. His leaf also shall not wither, and whatsoever he doeth shall prosper. The ungodly are not so, but are like the wind with the Lord, with the, with the wind that bloweth it away. Therefore the ungodly shall not stand in the judgment, nor sinners in the congregation of the righteous. For the Lord knoweth the way of the righteous, the way of the ungodly shall perish. Jesus come to show us how to live in this new kingdom of God. Matthew records him teaching his disciples in the mountain. In Matthew chapter 5, beginning at verse number 3, the Bible, the word of God says, Blessed are the poor in spirit theirs is the kingdom of heaven blessed are they that mourn for they shall be comforted blessed are the meek for they shall inherit the earth and blessed are they which do hunger and thirst after righteousness for they shall be filled blessed are the merciful for they shall obtain mercy and blessed are the pure in heart, for they shall see God. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they shall be called the children of God. Blessed are they which are persecuted for righteousness sake. Theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are ye when men shall revile you and persecute you. And they shall say all manner of evil against you falsely for my sake. Rejoice. Rejoice, he says. Rejoice and be exceedingly glad. For great is your reward in heaven. For so persecuted they, the prophets, which were before you now let's open up our bibles to the book of john the fourth chapter and the verse is 34 The Bible, the word of God says, my food is to do the will of him who sent me and to finish his work. Monday, December the 30th, 2019, our daily devotion entitled food throughout jesus's ministry we see a marked difference between his priorities and the concerns of his disciples the disciples were often preoccupied 
with how with how to meet their physical needs and mark chapter 14 and verse 15 he says when evening came the disciples approached him and said this place is this place is a wilderness and it is a uh, already late send the crowds away so they can go into the villages and buy food for themselves they don't need to to go away jesus told them y you give them something to eat but we only have five loaves and two fishes here they said to him my brothers and sisters we are always when jesus is in our lives we always have enough yes jesus repeatedly assured his disciples that the father knew their needs and would provide for them in luke chapter 11 verse 11 through 13 he says what the father what father among you if your if his son asks for a fish will give him a snake instead of fish or if he asks for a a egg will give him a scorpion if you then who are uh, evil knew how know how to give good uh, gifts to your children how how much more will the heavenly father give the holy spirit to those who ask him Oh, my brothers and sisters, Jesus, Jesus stressed that their priority was to seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness. And then he said, and all of these things, all of these things, shall be provided to you when jesus when jesus spoke to the woman at the well his disciples had gone into a nearby town to buy food while his disciples were seeking earthly nourishment jesus was giving this woman living water that would amen satisfy her and uh, 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 uh satisfy her soul for eternity when they returned when they returned the disciples urged jesus to eat he replied to them he replied that his his food was to do the will of his father since their attention was on earthly matters his disciples misunderstood his reply jesus very life came from obeying the father and because of Jesus's that day, the woman received eternal life. In her excitement, she brought many others to Jesus to, to hear for themselves. And many believed that he was indeed the Christ, the Son of the living god
John chapter 4, verse 39 through verse 42. Yes, the apostle, the apostle Paul, understood, under, understood what Jesus had been teaching his disciples when Paul wrote to the believers in Rome. He stressed that the kingdom of God is not eating and drinking, but righteousness and peace and joy in the Holy Spirit. For he who serves Christ in, in these things is acceptable to God and approved by men. Romans chapter 14. Verse 17 and 18. When Satan tempted Jesus to turn stones into bread, Jesus quoted the scriptures summarizing, amen, the, the focus of his life and his ministry. Know that men shall not live by bread alone, but by but man lived by every word that proceeds from the mouth of the Lord. Deuteronomy chapter 8 and verse number 3. And so is the readings from the books of the Lord. The book of Psalms, the first, the first division. The book of uh, Matthew, chapter 5, verse 3 through 12. And here, here in the book of John, chapter 4, and the verse is, uh, num uh, is verse 34. Now, Let's open up our Bibles back to the book of Hebrews. The book of Hebrews. The chapter is eight. And uh, we want you to start with me at verse number one. He says, now, the main point of what is being said of, is this. We have this kind of high priest who sat down at the right hand of the throne of the majesty in heaven. A minister of this sanctuary and the true tabernacle that was set, set up by the Lord and not man. For every high priest is appointed to offer gifts and sacrifices. Therefore, it is necessary for this priest also to have something to offer now if he were on earth he wouldn't be a priest since there are those offering the gifts prescribed by the law these serve as a copy and shadow of the heavenly things as moses was warned when he was about to, to complete the tabernacle for god said be careful moses that you make everything according to the pattern that was shown to you on the mountain.
Let's stop that. We can. The, the, the Hebrew writer now, speaking of Jesus, bringing a new order of priesthood into, uh, amen, not as a tearing down of the old uh, Aaron uh, pre, uh, uh, priesthood, Levitical priesthood, that he didn't come to tear it down. He come to fulfill it. And so uh, he, he says, the Hebrew writer says, he came in the order of Melchizedek. And so he, he here in the eighth chapter, uh, he says, this is the sum. The word sum means chief point, or, or major thrust, the principal thought. The, the Hebrew writer is about to give the major, the major principles to, uh, about the high priesthood of the Lord Jesus Christ. Jesus is the great high priest of heaven. He is the one who stands between God and man. The only person who can make a, a man acceptable to God. What is what is the major uh, thrust uh, and principal thought of his high priesthood? It is it is ministry. Jesus Christ is the great minister of God, the one who ministers both in heaven and upon earth for man. Both places are, uh, amen, are, are significant. And Jesus Christ is the great minister, the supreme minister who ministers day and night for man in both heaven and in earth you know the the uh, the apostle paul writing to his son in the gospel timothy he he writes to them and uh and and tells timothy um that uh he says he says uh i exhort therefore I mean, First uh, Timothy two. First of all, supplication, prayers, uh, intercession, and giving of thanks be be made for all men, for kings, and for all that are in authority. We may, Amen, lead a quiet and peaceable life in all godliness and honesty, for this is good and acceptable in the sight of God, our Savior who will have all men to be saved and come and to come unto the knowledge of the truth. Because then he says in verse number five, he says, for there is one God and one mediator between God and men, the, the man, Christ Jesus. My brothers and sisters, there, and, and he goes on to say, in verse 6, who gave himself a ransom for all to be testified in due time. My brothers and sisters, Jesus is the one who stands in the gap between God and man. Verse 1 says, Jesus is the perfect priest, the minister of a heavenly spiritual priesthood. There, there are qualifications. Being a priest on earth, it, uh, a man uh, has to meet certain 
our conditions in order to serve as an earthly priest. So it is in heaven. And for God, uh, you have to have the qualifications of meeting the qualifications of priesthood in heaven and in earth. My brothers and sisters, the heavenly priesthood ha has to have certain qualifications. One, he, he has to be perfect, completely faithful and true to God, the Father. There is no other way. The amen, the Hebrew writer declared in Hebrews chapter 5, verse 8 and 9, though he was God, the God's son, he learned obedience through what he suffered. After he was perfected, he became the source of eternal salvation for all who obey him. You gotta be, you gotta be completely faithful. You got to have been made perfect. He has to be merciful and become sacrifice and become the sacrifice for man's sin because the sacrificial lamb of God for man God requires God requires that amen that we that we make an offering and a sacrifice and we be merciful man is going to be the priest of heaven had to be a man who would uh undergo all the trials and temptations of men and conquer all without ever sinning my brothers and sisters the lord jesus the lord jesus he is such a one the hebrew writer says in hebrews chapter 4 verse 14 and 15 therefore since we have a great high priest who has passed through the heavens jesus the son of God, let us hold fast to our profession, for we have, for we do not have a high priest who is unable to sympathize with our weakness, but one who has been tested in every way as we are, yet without sin. Our God. Oh, uh, we could we could go on and on and on and on about Jesus being how he became our high priest. Yes, Jesus is called uh, the exalted high priest. He sits on the right hand of the majesty in heaven. Brothers and sisters, Jesus, Jesus is that one. Verse 2 tells us, yeah, he is a minister of the sanctuary. He's a minister of the heavenly, heavenly and earthly uh, sanctuary. He is the exalted high priest in heaven. But that is not all he, he is. He is the exalted minister of uh, the sanctuary if we as ministers in the house of god if we want to know how to minister to the people of god in the house of god in the sanctuary of god here on this side of time then jesus must be our example what would jesus do what would he do? My brothers and sisters, that's the question. Ministers of 
of the gospel. We need to always measure ourselves with what Jesus did. Yes, we should all, we should all be working to minister in the house of God. Yes, it is true that Jesus Christ is in heaven to reign in majesty and glory, but he also is in, he in heaven to be the minister of heaven, so uh, to be the minister of the true tabernacle, the true sanctuary, are uh, uh, the place of worship. He is to receive us as we come to God. While he, while we are in heaven, while he is in heaven, the Holy Spirit, it comes among us, helping us to worship our God, worship him, amen, the way God wants us to worship the God of heaven. Jesus is, amen. He is, he is not only the minister of the, sanctuary in heaven he's also the minister of uh amen uh the tabernacle here on earth yes every high priest verse 3 says every high priest is appointed to offer gifts and sacrifices Therefore, it is necessary for this high priest also to have something to offer. Jesus is that exalted minister who offers the gifts and sacrifices of men to God. That is what is meant by this verse, the very purpose for high priest was to offer gifts and sacrifices on behalf of man. High priests were appointed the very reason for their existence in the Old Testament was to offer gifts and sacrifices of the people to the God of heaven. That's what Jesus is doing. The difference in Jesus and the high priest of the Levitical priesthood, Aaron being the first high priest, they, amen. Uh, and the difference is they do it from an earthly perspective. Jesus sits at the right hand of the throne of God, and he is, and he can speak directly to God. Brothers and sisters, your gifts and your offerings are sitting there with God every, every day of your life. We used to, we, we used to, our courses used to sing a song uh, and brother Sonny Livers was, was, was the best I heard of the song Sending Up Timber. Y'all, Y'all remember that? Y'all remember that? Sending up timber. My brothers and sisters, you, 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 your, your, your heavenly, your heavenly uh, home is going to be unfurnished if you don't send, you don't send up your gifts and your offering. My brothers and sisters, what are your gifts? He says, uh, and be not weary in well doing, for in Due time you shall reap if you faint not. My brothers and sisters, as you have opportunities daily to do good, do good to people. That's your timber. That's sending up timber every day and giving your offering, your offering. When people have to, have to uh, uh, beg you to give to the Lord, your offering is unacceptable. You've got to be willing to give your life over to Jesus Christ. My brothers and sisters, we've got a great day coming. A great day coming. 
And I pray to the God of heaven that you will be ready to meet that God on that day. For Jesus is the high priest appointed. He, 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 he provides the, 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 the heavenly throne with the gifts and offerings that we make to him. Verse 4 says, verse 4 says, uh, now if he were on earth, he would be a, he wouldn't be a priest since there are those offering the gifts perished prescribed by the law. These serve as a copy, as a shadow of the, of the true tabernacle and the true sanctuary that is in heaven. What we saw God doing with the Jews, it was it and and the priesthood of uh, the Jewish nation. God was setting the stage for his son to be the great high priest in heaven and in earth. My brothers and sisters, we've got to realize that our God is able. Praise be unto God. <sighs> Let's open up the prayer line. If you would like to have prayer, you give us a call. 571. 571-1240. We'll pray with you. And... Uh, <clears throat> We'll pray for you that our God may strengthen your life, the life of those around you. We're closing out. We're closing out the the old year, preparing for the uh, year, the new year that God has given to us. My brothers and sisters, God is able. I want to remind you, Midwest, that uh, Brother John Poo Malone will uh, kick off our New Year's Day program, uh, our new, our first Sunday in January, coming up this week. And Brother John Poo Malone, uh, the our Minister of Youth and young adult uh, ministry uh, will uh, uh, kick us off uh, for 2020. We ask that everybody be in the house, be in the house. And uh, as we start uh, a minister, the ministry of, uh, of uh, going and uh, uh, having our uh, young people embedded into our into the life of the church. That's what God wants us to do is to take the next generation and raise them up. For God is able. I am so impressed. Uh, to have so many of, I, I, I'm looking at this is still holiday uh, season, but but many have to work on today. But uh, and I'm impressed those that I may not be working, they are up uh, studying the Word of God and uh, being being with us uh, as we as the Lord blesses us. Um, and uh, we've got so many things that are happening and our young people, our young people really need to, to turn to the Lord. We must embed the principles and the precepts before the Lord our God that he, <clears throat> that he may be able to help us 
in times of need. And so today, we, we are calling upon you to come down, visit with us, and let's uh, call upon God. Uh, and we know that God is able. 571, 1240. Brother Kevin says, please continue to pray for my uh, cousin, uh, Angel Gibbs, uh, and uh, Larry uh, Simmons, both suffering <clears throat> uh, from, from brain service. Let us keep them in prayer. Ask God to be with them. We know God is able, and uh, we pray that uh, you will call upon him for those who are seeking the Lord's help as we go through our trials and tribulation. We were blessed on yesterday to have Brother Floyd uh, White with us. Uh, who lives in Portland, Tennessee, and preaches at the 15th uh, uh, Avenue Church of Christ there in uh, 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 Nashville. And our prayer to God is that uh, you were blessed uh, uh, with it, and he was blessed being with us as we were blessed uh, he was uh, uh, with us. We, Sister Portia, uh harris asked us to pray for her health and her family her children and her co-workers and workplace her christian walk uh, um and uh, to pray for her mom we just want to keep them in our prayers and sister onda sharp asked her that we pray for her health and her uh, family, her Christian walk, uh, for her daughter Danielle, for strength and, and faith in, in the Lord, and uh, uh, Andre Jackson, uh, and, and pray for them. Uh, Sister Jackie Safar wants us to pray for her health and family and children and Christian walk and pray for her daughter, uh, uh, Renee. She had surgery on Thursday and a lot of pain. Uh, please keep her in prayer. If you would like to have prayer, you give us a call at 571-1240. Brother Wayne Shimwell, continue to pray for uh, my cousin, Angel Gibbs. Uh, amen. That was Wayne Shimwell's cousin. I said Kevin Stevenson. That's Brother Wayne Shimwell. We want to keep them in prayer. And ask God. Uh, but we'll pray for Brother Shimwell and his, his wife as they'll be celebrating their uh, 30th uh, wedding uh, anniversary this uh tomorrow uh so let's keep them in prayer sister marilyn wester please pray continue to pray for me and my family uh some will be uh traveling this week want to keep brother matthew in our prayers he was uh uh not able to be with us on yesterday sister rita and Brother David Kamishi say, continue to pray for my dad and uh, my uh, our family uh, uh, members in uh, to be uh, strength and draw closer to the Lord Jesus Christ. Uh, let us keep them in prayer. They will be burying her, their 
her mother today and let's keep them in our prayers may god be may god be with them and not only them but all of those who are going through the trials of of uh, of uh, mourning dear god and father in heaven have mercy upon us today please give us your strength give us your uh your uh your 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 light that as we travel through this dark world we'll keep our eye on jesus we pray for the health and the for the families and children and all of those who've asked for prayer may you bless them richly i thank you in the name of jesus amen my time is up for today i've enjoyed being with you look forward to being with you again on tomorrow until then know this our god loves you and so do i